Hi guys, welcome back to my crafting channel. So today I'm going to be using some of my Poundland um, purchases. And the first thing I'm gonna use is the garden light. Now, obviously it was two pound, so I pushed the boat out on this one, um, but it'd be worth it because it's not gonna cost me a lot this project. And as I said before, um, I've been really, really excited and wanting to do this for months. Um, just couldn't find this. So now I've got it, I've removed the um, stem that would normally go into the ground. I'm sorry, that's Lola, who's choking, she's all right. Um, and what I need to do is just unscrew, just, it's easy to do, just unscrews it from there, like that, okay. And I'm just gonna pop this on top of a jar, like that, okay. Okay, it makes sense, because I'm gonna spray this, but I don't want my bulb or my mechanics underneath to get sprayed, okay? Now, because I need the solar power light to work, I need to cover this with masking tape because I'm gonna spray all this white, okay? So I have got some masking tape here. So I'm just going to um, cover it, and actually, this masking tape fits perfectly, which I'll show you. Just, it's just a low tack tape as well. There we go. Put that absolutely the perfect size um so yeah so i'm gonna pop that in there and put to one side for a minute okay because that is going to be the top of my lighthouse okay now i've got an old wine bottle and this shape is better than a champagne bottle now this which is the base of the light okay fits perfect well not perfectly it's a bit loose actually in there so um, I need to fill out the bottle. So I've just cut out a piece of cardboard which fits perfectly around the bottom. So I'm just gonna, oops, glue that to the inside of my bottle rim, okay? So get my heat gun working, she says. Okay, now while that's warming up for me, um, I can start on another part of the lighthouse. Now, with the lighthouse, you've got the light on top, then you've also got the little bit around the side that you can walk. So what I've done is I've got a little plastic container. This had little peas in it from Sainsbury's. And um, all I've done is stuck um, tape on both sides inside. And what I'm gonna do, I've put a hole in the bottom that fits over the bottle. Now to do that, what I did do was heat um, a knife edge and use the, the heat of the knife to um, be able to cut through the plastic. Just be careful guys, it is quite sharp once you've done that, okay? So don't leave for the kids. If you're doing this as a kid's project, then adults do that definitely. So this fits perfectly open. I'm just gonna pop that down there. And also what I'll do is I'll um, glue that into place. You can't see that, can you? Right, let me show you, well, there you go. So just put that over there and I will glue that into place as well. So let's um, get cracking on this. Right, so my glue gun looks like it is warm enough. So I'm just going to put a rim of glue all around. The edge, just to secure this in place. Whispery spidery web bits, don't you? If you glue again, all right. Um, just need some more glue just to really make sure it's secure. There we go. And then just check it underneath. Yep, that's absolutely fine. I've just lost the glue. Yeah, right. Okay, got the glue. Right, so just leave that to dry. And then I'm going to glue in my cardboard so I'm just going to put the glue stick back in for the third or fourth time I think and just glue that in so I'm just gonna push that in there we go that's in there and then I'm gonna pop some glue on the edge of my light case as well now this does dry very quickly so you need to move the, this and then push it in. That's it. 
and then clear off any glue that's on the edge because you want this to be smooth as possible. Okay, so can you see that now? So you see it's looking more like a lighthouse. Okay, so that's stuck in there. Right, I'm turning my glue gun off for a minute. I don't need that for the rest of this project. Now, um, you can have your lighthouse any colour you want. Um, you can leave it all white, you can have it um, stripey. And I've decided to go stripey. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the white of my stripes with spray, but then I'm going to paint a red stripe on it as well. Um, it's just easier that way because I want the plastic to be white as well. So, by spraying it, I'll get a much even finish. So, with my large masking tape, going to mask where I want my stripes to be. So can you see? And then what I'll also do is put a door in. So I just want to make sure that I don't spray um, up too far. Right, so basically I've taped everywhere that I don't want to spray. Okay, so I've got a couple of windows and a couple of doors at the top. I don't know if you can see. And then a couple of windows, or three windows going round, and then a bit here for a door. So it doesn't look like a lighthouse much at the moment. Oh, I don't know though. Not looking too bad, is it? So I'm going to take this into my garage now, and I'm going to spray all of this and the top of this. All right, and I will show you that when it's done. All right, so I'll catch you in a bit. Right, so my lighthouse has dried. Painted it white last night and left it overnight. And I'm just going to take off the masking tape. Um, now, this one has got a little bit of white on the top there, but that's fine because I can scratch that off. In fact, it comes off so easily with my fingers. So it just obviously wasn't as, as tight down when I sprayed it as I thought, but that's fine, okay? Because I can literally just scrape that off so I'll get a cloth on that and just wipe it. So there's my uh, my lighthouse and then this is the rest of it. So I need to remove all the masking tape on this so this might take me a while so I'll come back and show you when I've done that, okay? Right, so this is the lighthouse so far. Now don't forget that's where the door's going to be put in, okay? So I haven't sort of made a mistake there. Um, I was going to do it red and white, if you remember. But thinking about it this morning, my downstairs um, toilet is nautical themed and it's blue and white. And I thought, you know what, rather than stick this in the garden, I might actually stick it in my downstairs toilet. What do you think? Now I'm going to have to paint it, but I think it might make a nice little um, ornament in the bathroom. And because it's solar powered, if you need the loo in the night, you've got a light automatically. What do you think? I think it'd be too nice to go in the garden. So I'm going to now start painting this. So I'll show you that. Okay, so this is where truth and honesty comes in now. I've just realized that I'm not gonna get the blue that I want by using acrylic paints based on painting straight to the glass. Um, it just isn't gonna work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go back out to the garage and respray this with a lighter covering of the white just down here. So hopefully I'll still be able to see the bits that I um, actually um, taped off. And then when it's dry, I'll paint that because um, it needs something to stick to, which it just doesn't have at the moment. So, so let's give that a go. Right, so I've resprayed it and you can still see where I want my lines to be, which is perfect. I did spray the top. Um, you can just see where the blue is. I'm actually gonna keep it like that. I decided I preferred it that way. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tape up um, the bottle. Sorry, that's Lola upstairs in the bedroom playing with a ball, jumping on and off the bed. So I do apologize for that. Um, so what I'm now gonna do is um, tape up the bits where I want it blue, and then I will paint the blue sections of my lighthouse. So I'll get on with that. Right, so that's all taped up now. And um, just need to make sure it's firmly down so that no paint leaks underneath. Um, I've also taped here because I want to put a little door in. So I want to make sure that I don't um, paint my door in. Okay, so let's get cracking with the paint. And I'm going to go for blue, as you know, on this. So let's do that. Right. 
right so that's been painted and i just now leave it to dry uh, before i take the masking tape off and then i will work on the door and put some windows in um but in the meantime while this is drying off um i want to um make it more nautical and obviously you know with the the, the sort of the balcony at the top i have a feeling that there would be string on that balcony so i'm just going to glue a layer of string um on the top as if it's sort of like part of the the sort of balcony sort of the safety bit if that makes sense okay so i'm going to get on and get that glued and i'll show you that when it's done So this is now dry and yes I've got my glasses on because I mean serious business now. Um, that spider by the way having a drink. So I'm going to put the door and the windows in and I'm going to use this glitter paint just to give a little bit of sparkle from the sea. So let's go down and do that. There we go. So you know I left some space here so I'm just going to carefully put an outline. Oops. needs to dry but in the meantime let's pop the lid on that because otherwise it will dry i'm thinking that up here i don't quite like the fact that you can still see the screw top so i'm going to actually put some of the string from here up here as well and just um, give that a more nautical effect all the way around so what do you think yeah okay let's get on with that shells from a previous proje um, project um, I think these around the edge will look brilliant so let's get gluing guys so here is my lighthouse from a recycled bottle so when it goes dark the light will come on and originally I was going to do this for my garden but because my downstairs toilet is nautical themed I decided to change tact and put it into there and I'm really quite pleased because it'll go really nicely I just need it all to dry and then I think it'll look lovely so what do you think guys would you do it it's a little bit basic, I know, but crafting sometimes is just about recycling things and making things. They don't have to be things that you're going to sell, you know, or be on the market because you wouldn't buy this, I know. Um, but it's just a little bit of fun and I think it looks great for my bathroom. And when I go to the loo in the middle of the night, I don't need to put the lights on because this will come on for me automatically. I'll turn the light off in a minute so you can see it. So there you go. All right, guys? So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click subscribe and notifications and give me a thumbs up. All right, so I'll catch you on my next project. Okay, bye.